Hi, I'm Josh Evilsizer, and today I'm going to show you how to move Google Workspace files using copy, cut, and paste keyboard shortcuts. This is exciting because it's new uh, and it's about 12 or 13 years overdue. So if you're ready, let's go. The first thing that I wanted to tell you about is that this replaces the move to function, which is tedious. So that still exists, but no longer need to use that. And it's new as of 26 May, 2022. Uh, use shortcuts to move files. So we're going to talk about shortcuts and when I use the word control, if you're on a Mac, use the use command. Probably already knew that, but just wanted to make sure. All right, the most common use is going to be moving the file, so we'll hit that first. And what I'm going to show you first is how to use control enter to open any doc or folder in a new tab. And then we'll use control X to cut or remove the file and then control V to paste or place the file. So control enter, control X, and control V is what we're gonna do first. I need to pivot to a different browser or a different account, which is my uh, army account, because it's this function is so new, it's not yet active in that other account. So what we have here is a project folder. Take a surf trip in 2023, and I wanna move these documents that I have into that folder. So uh, to open this in a new browser, like I talked about, control enter, pretty straightforward, okay? Uh, we wanna move these docs into that folder. So I can select the first one, I can select the last one and hold shift and it selects all of them. And then I use the control X, which is cut function. And you'll see that Google tells me I did the right thing. Items cut to the clipboard. Now when I come over here, and I use the control V function, uh, three files have been moved from my drive to this folder. You can see there are the files and you can see where we started from, they're gone. Sometimes you can hit control Z and they'll come back. And sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> so the undone function or the undo function may be your best bet because control Z does not always work I've noticed with this with this functionality. In any event, we've got our files in here. Now what we want to do, uh, what I'd like to show you first actually, so we'll move these back just for a second, control X, come back over here, control V, which is paste again. And we'll see those show up in a second, there we go. So instead of opening the folder in a new tab, we could of course just select all of them, control X, select the destination folder where we want to put them and control V and we see they went in that folder. I could double click the folder or control enter again, which opens the folder. Now there's some cool functionality in here. So we've got our action plan, right? And let's say we, we wanna put these documents in our action plan. So we've opened our action plan and now we've got these two documents that we wanna put in there. So I can copy those with control C and you can see here we're working from browser to browser, which is kind of neat. You don't have to have it all in one browser or anything weird like that. It's, it's very smart functionality. So here's our action plan. And I want to put those documents, or I want to link those documents here as hyperlinks. So control V is a paste function, right? There we go. Pretty cool. And since I pasted them and I used control C to copy them, they didn't move, they're still here. Um, and what I'd like to do now is move these to my archive folder. So I'm just gonna do it the old fashioned way and those have dropped in the archive folder. But for whatever reason, I wanna place shortcuts of these files. So in back in that other folder I was just in. So I'm gonna control C, copy. You can see here it told me copy to the clipboard. So I know that I copied those items, not cut. Um, and now we're back to the folder. And if I use control shift and V, it's gonna place a shortcut in here. Uh, why you would use shortcuts for another day. Um, but you can see that if I delete the shortcuts, the original files, which are here, are unharmed or untouched. Let's go back to our outline and make sure I hit everything that I wanted to tell you. Uh, cross browser moves, I did cover that. I talked about control enter, control X, control V and C. Um, the last thing is here copying those files to other files. And the last piece is copying those into emails. 
I mean, I can put them in emails too, Josh? You betcha. So this one, I just want to share, actually, I just want to share the action plan. So I've copied that, control C, and I open a new email. And you guessed it, control V, and there it is. Pretty cool. So I think that concludes all, or includes, all of the items we we're going to talk about here. Uh, the rest of the shortcuts, control shift V, which is the shortcut. We talked about that. Uh, paste the shortcut to the original file. And that's it. If you want to read more about this, I've got a link to the Google Workspace blog article right here. And those will be in the show notes down below. Show notes? Too many podcasts. Uh, that'll be in the comments section down below. And just like I always like to say, uh, if this was helpful, uh, please do hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, and leave any questions in the comments. If you leave me a good one, I'll of course respond with an answer or a video. I'll always respond with an answer. I'll try and respond with a video. And uh, please remember in the description, you can find this outline and how to reach me online. That is it. Thanks for your time and have a great day.